Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the biggest update yet for Adobe Creative Cloud desktop application. All right, so Creative Cloud desktop application used to be this annoying thing down in the bottom that we had to deal with, and it really didn't have a life. It was the place where you got notified to update things, but it, it just failed miserably in many, many ways. Well, Adobe has completely reconfigured how it works. It's now a useful standalone complete application, not only for updates, but also for all of your uh, library stuff, notifications. It's a huge update. I love it. Let's have a look. All right, so here it is. Um, it will come from your taskbar here on Windows, or it will come from the menu on the top for the Mac. It's a free floating complete application that you have complete control over now instead of that tiny little window. And it's broken up into many different areas. The first one I'm looking at are updates. So you can see all of the updates. You'll see all of the updates available. And you'll also see beside that a little word that you can click on to get information about what is new with that version. You can see what is new with that application. And if you go to see more, it's going to launch a browser window and take you to that page on the help page and show you what is new. So lots of great ways to get information. If we, keeping with the updates, you can see we have an update all button and then on a little ellipsis menu here, and if we click on that, you, you can enable auto update and check for updates. Um, if you're in production, I would never have auto update on only because you're not really sure of the next version. You want to make sure it gets checked out um, by a lot of people before you update. If you're in the middle of a project, it's never a good idea to update. Um, I have it turned off, although you can turn on Creative Cloud update automatically. So the cloud uh, application will always be automatically updated. I don't think that's a problem. All right, so that's the updates panel and you can look at all applications here. And then we can go to different categories. So if you go to the photography category, then you can see what's new in photography and you can see all of these updates. Anything that isn't updated has an open button beside it. You'll also notice that each one of these are in a certain category. So some are going to have categories. If we go back to all apps, you can see desktop, mobile apps. So we can just see the new mobile apps and what's on the web. So some of these like Adobe Fonts and Adobe Stock and Behance are strictly web applications, but you can still launch them from here. Still very useful. All right, so let's go over to the video side of things. And here we can see where our Premiere Pro has an update. So that's the current version that I have installed. And this is the update. As soon as I finish updating, that 13.15 will be gone. And this new version, version 14, will be the new one. You'll notice that Creative Cloud, the CC moniker is gone from everything now. So if you're having trouble uh, identifying what App, what um, uh, version you have, then the help menu will always show you about. So back over to the categories, there's our illustration uh, section, there's UI and user experience, Acrobat and PDF, and then beta apps. Please don't ask me how to get on beta. I'm on the beta, it has nothing to do with me. Don't ask me how to get on the beta. And then down at the bottom, these are the same links that I showed you before. And you'll see this little icon is a link to open up that web page. So if I click on it, it will launch a browser and take me to Adobe Stock. Boom, there you go. Again, another quick way to get to Stock, Fonts, Behance, tutorials and the support page. There's only a couple of menus here. Uh, go to the web version of this. So this will take you to your Creative Cloud account on the web. Um, and you can also open the sync folder. And this is the folder that is syncing all of your assets. So this is uh, in my directory and it's Creative Cloud file. So these, if you have these set to auto sync, then they will be synced. There's also preferences, which we'll get into in a second. Um, you can 
jump to either the apps or the work, and there's the help section there. So over on the right-hand side, we've got a gear for preferences. So we can get to it that way. There's the account, there's the uh, how much storage, and then you can tell it to launch Creative Cloud at login. That's the default. And here is always keep Creative Cloud up to date. So you can turn that on. I thought I had that on before. Apps, you can auto update here, learn more about that. Uh, where's Where do you install them? So you can choose a different location. You can also show the older apps. Syncing, you can show what is the transfer speed and whether you want notifications. So it's now easy to get to these and uh, do you want notifications about uh, OS notifications, app updates, syncing and Adobe fonts. And then there's your overall services. Disabling Adobe fonts will deactivate fonts. I don't know why you deactivate this. You get a lot of great fonts. I use them all the time. And they all, all also update now automatically, which I love. So um, sometimes I use an odd bunch of fonts for a project and I, and I don't care to have those enabled all the time. So after I'm finished the project, I'll dis disable them in uh, fonts.adobe.com. But if I happen to open up that old project, it will activate all of those fonts. And we'll deactivate them uh, again once it's closed, but at least it activate, activates them. And then you can jump to your account there. So that's the preferences. And then there's a, a help file here where you can get help and contact Adobe. Uh, this is your fonts. So it's showing me all of the last ones uh, that I launched and you can manage fonts and browse all fonts. That will take you to on, online. This is where you get your notification showing up. So uh, this is the latest Creative Cloud uh, update and it tells me all the fonts that I've uh, updated. And then here's my syncing, um, which was the same in the preferences. Again, it shows you how much storage you're using and you can pause that syncing and this will take you back to that same place in there. So that takes you to all those settings um, within that part. Now you can get to your work and this is where all of your libraries are. So depending on um, what you have on the left, you can see in this particular file, I shared some stuff with Adrian and these were looks files. This is a great way to share things, libraries, because those looks are tiny and they're automatically updated. So if Adrian has that, that library open and I have that library open and I'm dropping in looks and that's what I was doing in this case, I was uh, creating some color changes on my side on the Lumetri palette panel, whoop, and I just whipped them down there and they would show up immediately in his uh, Creative Cloud uh, libraries over on his side. If you watch my capture tutorial, you'll see there's my assets for that and a bunch of other ones uh, down in here. And I keep my video revealed uh, library full with a bunch of swatches. There's my complimentary colors for my show with a bunch of graphics that I use. And uh, way down at the bottom are my looks that I pop in and a bunch of the motion graphics templates that I use all the time. On the right hand side, there's a button here to add an element and you can click and add an element in here. If you let, let's just, I'm just gonna go to some Mogerts because I know they're, they're not supported just to show you what happens. So there's a Mogert there. So if I pick that and open it, you'll see I get a warning. Uh, Mogerts are not supported, uh, but Illustrator files, PNG, BMP, PSD, SVG, GIF, JPEG, JPEG, TIFF, TIFF, and PDF files are supported. So you can add those directly to your library there. And you can also search for anything that you've you've had in, in you've added in here. Uh, but like I said, th this is the new update. Uh, great stuff. I'm going to use this right now to uh, update all my applications. So when I click update all, um, it says adjust your sections for advanced option desire before import previous settings or remove old versions. So you have the option of removing those old versions. I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to import my uh, preferences. So I'll click continue. It's going to start to work and it's going to start on the top one up here and start loading those. So that you can see there it goes. It's updating that version there. The rest of these are waiting 
and soon I'll have a fully updated Creative Cloud application. So this is the new Creative Cloud desktop application. Bravo, Adobe. You've made this a very, very useful uh, application from end to end. I mean, for my apps, for my stuff, for my assets, for my libraries. So there you go. If you're new to video or video and you have found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. We love our PayPal supporters. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. If you want to have a longer conversation than the awful comments in, in uh, uh, YouTube comments are just really difficult for me to manage, please join us over on Facebook. There's a link in the description. It's so much easier to have a conversation over there. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to keep you updated about all the Creative Cloud stuff that you have.